everybody. Mark and Edward Lewis here from cinemasound.com. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to use the Boom Ambience Libraries in 3D. They're 3D 8.0 files and use them in Adobe Audition and create incredible surround ambiences for yourself in stereo with binaural. Uh, it's amazing what you can do creating incredible surround ambiences in Adobe Audition. Now, if you've never used Adobe Audition, I encourage you to come to our website, cinemasound.com and stream our product, Adobe Audition 1, 2, 3 which will take you from I'm um, maybe a photographer, I don't know how to use sound at all, I've never even booted Adobe Audition, all the way to delivering in Hollywood level expected deliverables in 5.1 and higher in about three hours, which is totally dope. So let's just play this uh, in stereo and see how it sounds. It's a really great stereo ambience that works anywhere. Now I've already got these channels in mono loaded, left, right, left surround, right surround, left front height, right front height, left surround height, right surround height. And then I also have a special thing called LFE add, which I'm going to show you about in a moment. Now these come in packs of uh, basically interleaved eight channels, which is four quad down, four quad up, which is why it's L R L S R S L F H R F all that stuff. So when we bring this in, we're just going to drag this from the finder. You can see it's going to jump in. You can see already that massive interleave file. But if I hold down Alt or Option, it will space it out automatically for me into the individual mono channels that I've selected, which is what I want. So I'm going to release. And now it's going to convert from the 96 kilohertz that it was recorded at to the 48 kilohertz of my session. I'm just going to drag these over to the beginning while it's doing that. Super great. Now we've imported them. And you can see they line up perfectly with the stereo track. I'm going to click to the mixer. Now, notice here I've got some crazy stuff going on in routing. The first thing you're going to want to notice is the 3D Spatial Audio Designer. Now, I use this all the time, and if you've been through the Cinema Sound Education, you know how much I love this plugin. This allows me to take any amount of channel organization all the way out to 24.2 surround. Crazy and mix it down into stereo headphone left and right. Now you can also do a regular export in discrete channels if you want in Adobe Audition using Spatial Audio Designer. But for now, I just want to show you how to do this into surround. Now, first of all, we have these already labeled, as I mentioned before, left, right, LSRS, all the way over all eight of these channels. These are now being routed to bus C. Bus C is right here. From here, this is going to go to the master output and we'll be able to hear it. So let's see what's going on here. So I've got just the left here and uh, it's in the Spatial Audio Designer Send. And that then comes to the Spatial Audio Designer Mix where I've got all of the sends showing up here. You can see this is from the back of a head and this is from the top. So it's positioned in two different quadrants or quad uh, height and uh, lower versions. Now you can't use any of the uh, mutes or se uh, solos from the channels once you have Spatial Audio's designer in. So we're just going to solo the left here using Spatial Audio Designer. And I can move this around in 2D space or in 3D space, which is super cool. For now, we're just going to drop it back into left lower. That's cool. And we can do the same with right, it's left surround, right surround, left front height. Oh, I guess that's right front height, sorry. Left front height, left surround height and right surround height. And all together, it's really, really loud. Let's bring it down. Now, one of the things that I have in here, you can hear if you have good headphones on, the super lows that are happening, and that's this LFE ad. And what's happening there is a really cool thing. I've routed via the sends all of the eight channels to another bus called here, LFE ad. From there, I've rolled off all of the high frequencies. So basically this is all channels feeding this channel and I've rolled off everything but the very, very lows. And then in this 3D audio, uh, uh, spatial audio designer send, I've said make this only go to the LFE. So it's panned kind of generally all around, only going to the LFE. And then in the mix, it's a little wonky looking, but it shows up here under all of these. So if I mute this, that's what it sounds like without and with. Turn 
turn up any individual channel you want by simply turning up the sends that you want to. In fact, I can mute these altogether and get the same result. So if I only want to say have the lower channels, I can do that by simply turning on the lower channels sends. And then add the height and I can really turn up the rumble if I want to. Woo. So let's remind ourselves what that stereo sounds like. Again, a good sound. And here it is in big stereo, spatial audio designer, surround. And if you're not watching this in the headphones, it's gonna sound kind of weird and phasey to you, but otherwise, it's pretty awesome. Again, you can split these off into whatever you'd like in Spatial Audio Designer. You're not just limited to 5.1, as you otherwise would be in Adobe Audition. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If so, please subscribe to us here on this channel and come to cinemasound.com where we have hundreds and hundreds of videos and blogs to help you get that Hollywood-level immersion into your productions. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're